How you doing today? It's uh, Rob Marriott from 123network.net and today we will be getting back to part 2 of part 9 of the cPanel tutorial and today we'll be going over the mail section. Okay, so if you're new to uh, cPanel, uh, you might want to go over part 1 of part 9 of the cPanel tutorial going over the preferences. Uh, explaining how the video tutorials and getting started wizard would be the best thing to look at it if you're new to the cPanel. If not, let's go ahead and move right on to the mail section. Okay, so first you see here we have a email accounts. If you click into your email accounts, what this is for, you'll see you're able to create emails, set quotas, access your webmail. Uh, if you see here, you can uh, simply uh, input an uh, email address, anything at 123network.net. If you have subdomains, you would be able to click down, uh, pick one of your subdomains, and create an email at one of your subdomains. Um, once you have finished putting in a password, you set the quota here. You can either set it by uh, megabytes or unlimited quota and hit create account. Once your account's created, it will show down here in your accounts and as you can see it'll show the quota here as you can see I have here 200 megabytes set Robert at 123network.net uh, Also here you can change the passwords if you didn't put in the password you would like or you forgot your password as well as change the quota and over here you'll see more if you click more you can access your webmail which will take you to your webmail or you can configure your email client and just uh, down the bottom there you'll see this will be your default email address this here will be the default email address that comes with your domain uh, so pretty much it will be anything sent to your domain will be sent uh, to this here address if it's not specified to be sent to another address and that's pretty much it with the email accounts now if you want to go ahead and click the webmail in webmail you'll see uh, it allows you to go ahead and log on to webmail and when you log on it'll give you uh, a round cube, squirrel mail, hoard, maybe a few others, maybe a few less I'm not sure exactly what every company comes with but uh, it allows you to enable auto load which means when you click your webmail uh, webmail uh, button that you click to get into this uh, you could have it automatically load you right into your uh, mailing account by clicking enable auto load and setting the settings the uh, seconds click OK and you'll be right in um, pretty easy that's how the uh, the webmail aspect of it works. Um, let me return to cPanel here. Next, we'll be going on to the spam assassin. Uh, pretty much, what the spam assassin does, it it checks by scanning over the e email's header and body uh, to see if everything in the body or the header would be considered uh, an actual email or would it be considered spam uh, I have it disabled as I'm currently not getting no spam emails uh, if you start getting them you can enable it and you can set uh, it off of uh, the score here uh, the higher the number the more conservative the setting it's saying so uh, the higher the number, obviously the more strict it's going to be, the lower, the less strict it's going to be. Uh, next we have forwarders. This would be to forward your email to another email or to forward all your emails in a domain to another domain. Now as you can see here, email account forwarders, this would be to forward an email. If you clicked add forward, it would ask you to forward an email address to another email address. This would be forwarding one of your email addresses off of your domain or off of your subdomain over into another email address as it could be a hotmail.com or more. Now if you wanted to uh, forward a domain it would be directly underneath of that. 
Uh, next we have autoresponders. Now to use autoresponders, autoresponders are used to automatically send a message back to a user after receiving a message. Um, so more like the no reply emails that you get or uh, pretty much when you send an email this will automatically send an email reply back saying whatever it is you would like it to say. Fairly easy to set up. Click add autoresponder as you'll see interval and hours to respond the emails here this here would be the email name that you would like uh, to show up that you would be responding uh, from you would be putting no reply subject and then the mail uh, the uh, body the message that you would like to send back to the person uh, after receiving a message okay next we have our default address uh, in our default address here you will see this will be your default address like I said uh, all your mail will go to such as the mail that has not been sent to an actual email address um, here you can change your uh, default email or forward it to another email address if you did not want your error messages and more going to your default email as well as uh, if you would reached over your quota or email quota or bandwidth you would have email uh, messages sent to this email your default email as well so if you wouldn't would like to change that to another email address you use simply just put in your email address here and have your default email address forwarded over okay next we're getting on to the user level filtering this here is uh, pretty much just the set filters kinda like the the spam assassin what it does is you can set up filters by user uh, the user's email each email you create off of your domain or subdomain you're able to create a, a filter for it and if you go in here I'll briefly explain it uh, as you can see basically what it's doing here is you're entering filters header filters uh, from filter a subject filter this here would be the body, you know, a filter to make sure there's a message in the in the body. Uh, basically, you can create new filters. Uh, this would be the filter name, the rules, um, actions, what actions to take if you notice spam in your uh, message, so on and so forth. Pretty much just setting up uh, the spam uh, emails that come into into your system. The exact same thing goes with the account level filtering. I'm not going to click it. It pretty much just has to do with uh, pretty much setting filters on rather all the emails in the domain rather than just the user. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Okay, um, now our email delivery route. In our email delivery route, here it will show you the uh, the exact route the email must take to get either from your webmail client or to the destination the address is uh, going to. This here will show you the path that it takes from one server to another. You can show the route, type in the email address you want to see and here it will show you. Um, a lot of this stuff you won't be using unless you have a big fairly big company set up or a fairly big uh, amount of emails coming in pretty much you'll be using just the email accounts webmail maybe a bit of forwarding uh, doing some forwarding emails uh, maybe a few autoresponders depending on if you have a company or whatnot um, now next let's go ahead and check out the import addresses and forwarders uh, the import address and forwarders here would be to set up emails you have on your computer or forward emails you have on your computer uh, to this actual system here your webmail system using a .csv file or a .xls file um, I do not use this if you do need help using that you can send me a message and I'll gladly talk you through it uh, most people will not need it now email authentication here we have an email authentication. This will be to set up several properties of an email to verify if the origin of the email is uh, represents in the in the header 
Uh, these methods here are to protect against spam and prevent against spam as well. Um, here, as you can see, uh, there's a number of different things you can add here to uh, go ahead and make sure you're not getting emails that you do not want. Here you can block IPs, uh, the IP addresses of the senders that are sending them to you. Um, here you can add uh, additional MX servers that will be approved for sending emails as well as add an additional hosts that send emails to your domain to uh, auto approve them for sending emails so pretty much the email authentication uh, has something to do with the account level filtering user filtering and spam assessing all lead back to one thing which is preventing spam and having you get the emails that you want Okay. Last but not least, we have the MX entries. Now, MX entries determine how mail is delivered to your domain. If your mail is delivered to a server that your domain is on, you won't need to edit this. However, if your mail is going to an external server or another domain, you're going to need to go ahead and point your domain to that server or go ahead and point your domain to uh, that that uh, host, the host you would like to get it, uh, your your mail to go to. Now, uh, MX entries here. Um, when pointing, uh, say uh, I get all my emails sent here, so I don't I don't use any other servers or any other hosts. So, uh, like you can see, as you click here, configure the server to always accept mail. Mail would be delivered locally on the server when it's sent from a server outside the server. I don't need to change nothing. If you did have your uh, mail located on another server and you would like to point it towards that server, please remember you cannot uh, do it. Do point point your uh, this to another server using a IP address. You have to use your actual domain name. Meaning, if my domain name is 123network.net, I have to use 123network.net not the IP for the domain okay so that would be all for our mail section and any questions please feel free to contact me at 123network.net that will be all for part 2 of 9 of the cPanel tutorial in the mail section thank you very much and have a good day